Hello guys, I am not using the screen recorder because I wanted to show you that you can connect your PS4 controller to your iOS device to play on games. So anyway, basically what you do on your iPhone or your iPad or your thingamajiggy or whatever you've got, the iPod, you want to scroll across and you want to go into Cydia. You want to go to sources, edit, add, re repo, dot, bite, your apple, dot, net. You want to add sauce, but I already got it, so I'm going to click cancel. And basically, when you've got that sauce, you want to go to search, and you want to type in controllers for all. And the, this is a paid one, but um, the paid one didn't we glitched out a bit more, so I got the BYA one, bite your apple. When you've installed that, it will, I think you need to respring your device, and anyway, it, it's not, it's just a return to Cydia. And you want to scroll down until you find BT stack, and in BT stack, you want to see if it says none there, and if it says none there, it's all set. And turn on login if it's already off. Um, when I go to controllers for all, yeah, and I want to click PS4 or whatever controller you got. So I'm this is a PS4 controller. I want to click PS4 controller, and you want to click um connection mode, and you want to click manual, which is easier. So when you basically do that, you want to click pair controller, and it should do that. So when it says it comes up with that, you want to do exactly what it says. So you want to hold in. It's not efficient at the moment. You want to hold in the share and the PS button at the exact same time. And wait for it to flash. So as you can see it's flashing. And on my iPhone screen now it says that. And you want to click on your controller. You want to click the PS button one more time to stop it from flashing. And then on your iPhone you want to click dismiss. And you want to click connect controller. Now notifications will come through. When it says um, click the PS button, like it just did then, you want to click the PS button and it should come up with a light there and the light that you chose or the ambient colour so when you go into a game now and can you hold my iPod I have to hold, my, hold the iPod then just so, just so you can see the viewers so now if I open an app that supports controllers if I go into Dead Trigger 2 which, one support, which supports it and I get my um controller it should say connected to a controller did you see that connected to a controller now I can play with a controller some games do not support it with um, the controller at the menu and they actually record the screen it someone's not someone's not um, put support it at the menu which probably won't make let you move around on the menu but this one supports controller on the menu and as you can see I'll put the controller in there that it does support it as you can see like everything's moving around you can go into your chat box you can do everything you want anyway that's how to connect your thing thanks for watching bye bye